Hey there, and welcome back to Reach Films. Today we have an exciting accessory that's perfect for indie filmmakers, content creators, anyone who's pushing the limits of their Thunderbolt ports on their computer, and it is the OWC Thunderbolt Hub. First, I wanna talk about why I bought this hub, its specs, and then round it all out with my overall experience using it. My two computers I use for work are both Macs. My primary machine is a 2020 5K iMac with an Intel iCore 7, 8GB graphics card, 72 gigs of user upgradable RAM. And then for traveling and remote working, I have an M1 MacBook Air base model, which still surprises me how powerful it is for the money. The issue is that both of these machines have two Thunderbolt 3 ports, which can be limiting because in a perfect world, I would use three to four ports using my Thunderbolt display and multiple Thunderbolt connected SSDs. Adding this hub to my workflow gives me the extra two Thunderbolt ports that I have needed without having to completely upgrade my setup as both machines are working great for me, editing R3D Red Raw or H.265 Sony FX30 footage. Now that you know my use case, let's discuss the specs. This Thunderbolt hub is a game changer when it comes to expanding your device connections and boosting productivity. With its five ports, including three Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A port, and the Thunderbolt 4 port that connects to your computer, you'll never run out of options. What makes this hub so special is its compatibility. It seamlessly works with M1 Max, M2 Max, Thunderbolt 3 equipped Intel base Max, Thunderbolt 4 PCs, even USB-C and USB 4 machines and devices. No more worries about confusion or compatibility, the Thunderbolt hub has you covered. Now, let's talk about the incredible port expansion capabilities of this hub. Through a single Thunderbolt port, you can connect dual 4K and 5K displays, or even a 6, 8K display, external storage, phones, tablets, mixers, a wider range of keyboards, mouse accessories. It's a true productivity powerhouse. But here's where things get really interesting. The OWC Thunderbolt Hub allows you to redefine your device chain. You can create three separate daisy chains of devices, and what's more, it supports bus-powered devices, so you can remove devices from one chain without affecting the others. Talk about flexibility. And there is an added bonus. The Thunderbolt on this hub provides power delivery and charging capabilities, so you can keep your devices powered up while enjoying the expanded connectivity. A great example is when I plug this into my M1 MacBook Air, it actually provides power. So not only do I use one of my two Thunderbolt slots, I'm also using that to provide power to the laptop. When it comes to reliability and dependability, OWC has you covered with this Thunderbolt hub. It is Thunderbolt certified, ensuring built-in quality. It's compatible with both Mac and Windows systems, making it a versatile accessory for all filmmakers and content creators out there. Also, for those concerned about security, OWC has thought of everything. The Thunderbolt hub comes with a Kingston Nano slot, allowing you to secure it with an anti-theft cable. Your gear will stay safe and sound. After using this hub for the past few months, I have overall had a really great experience with it, and it has really sped up my workflow, being able to use multiple Thunderbolt-powered SSD drives at once, plus my Thunderbolt display. I can transfer files real easily between the drives and also edit directly off those drives as well, saving my internal hard drive from getting clogged up, with the renders, source files, keeping the machine nice and quick. On both of my machines, my Intel iMac and my M1 Air, I've had no issues with this up. However, part of the reason I got the last 5K Intel-based iMac Apple decided to release, which they did at the same time they launched M1, by the way, was I needed to be able to run some Windows-based apps natively in bootcamp which is only supported in the Intel Apple machines. I noticed when the Thunderbolt hub is powered on and plugged into the Intel-based iMac, when I switch over to bootcamp, I end up getting a blue screen. I've even tried to unplug the hub and power it on once bootcamp was actually fully booted up. However, it will still blue screen at that point as well. So I'm not sure what's going on as this hub works really well with Windows machines, but bootcamp seems to be an issue so far, so do be aware. In conclusion, the OWC Thunderbolt Hub is a must-have accessory for anyone editing on a budget or maxing out their Thunderbolt ports. With its easy port expansion, universal compatibility, and the ability to redefine your device chains, it's a game changer for your workflow. That's it for today's review. If you have found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Reach Films for more camera gear reviews. Until next time, my name's Jeff Fagan. Thank you for watching, everybody, and remember to keep capturing those amazing shots. See you in the next video.